Mastering formal sentence structure in English. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an exciting aspect of English writing, the formal sentence structure. Understanding formal sentence structure can greatly improve your writing, especially in academic and professional settings. Let's dive right in. In a nutshell, formal sentence structure is the way we arrange words and phrases in a sentence to convey a more formal, professional, or academic tone. These sentences usually follow proper grammatical rules, avoiding contractions, slang, or colloquial language. The sentences are often more complex, utilizing a variety of clauses and transitions to convey information clearly and comprehensively. To better understand formal sentence structure, let's look at some of its key characteristics. 1. Complete sentences. Formal writing uses full and complete sentences. It avoids fragments and run-on sentences to maintain clarity. 2. Third-person perspective. It typically uses the third-person perspective, avoiding first- and second-person pronouns like I, we, you, etc. 3. Advanced vocabulary. It uses advanced and subject-specific vocabulary to convey precise meaning. 4. Complex sentences. It often involves more complex sentences, with multiple clauses and conjunctions. 5. No contractions. It avoids contractions. For instance, instead of, don't, we would use, do not. 6. Formal connectors. It uses formal connectors and transition words, like, however, furthermore, additionally, etc. Now, let's see formal sentence structure in action. 1. Informal. I'm not going to be able to finish the project on time. Formal. It appears that the project will not be completed as per the initial timeline. 2. Informal. The experiment was a failure because the results were all over the place. Formal. The experiment did not succeed due to the highly variable results. Notice how the formal sentences use complete words, avoid contractions, and are generally more precise and clear. And that wraps up our introduction to formal sentence structure. I hope you found this helpful and now have a better understanding of how to structure your sentences when writing in a formal context. Remember, practice is key to mastering this skill. So, don't shy away from practicing what you've learned today. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons on English language learning. Until next time, happy learning!